Hello, cyber world. This is Teddy Riley coming at you from Teddy Talks. And today we will be discussing Save Your Precious Time, How to Conduct Efficient Meetings. Here we go. Meetings can be very time consuming and inefficient. So how do you avoid this waste of time? Well, the following eight points will help you to conduct a more efficient meeting. Point one, don't make it routine. Meetings should not become an everyday occurrence. If you gather your employees around the boardroom table uh, many times a week without a specific reason, uh, you might you know, reconsider this. Is the meeting really necessary? Have meetings become routine? Make sure your meeting has relevance, otherwise you just end up wasting your time and everyone else's. Point two, meeting or email, okay? Ask yourself, is this meeting really necessary? Is there a different approach for addressing my employees? Sometimes it makes more sense to send an email rather than to ask your coworkers to leave their desk and their work behind. Three, personal versus virtual meeting. So let's say a, a meeting is necessary, um, what circumstances does your meeting ask for? Uh, do you need to see your coworkers in person? Sometimes it is more efficient to have a video conference, especially if you are under a time pressure and your coworkers are working in different locations within the company. So travel time is a loss of time. Therefore, consider the importance of personal versus a virtual meeting. Number four, the importance of an agenda. So before you even have a meeting, make sure you have an agenda. During the meeting, focus strictly on your agenda items and don't get distracted by other topics. The most important thing is to stick to your agenda. This will save you time and the meeting will be more productive. And that's the point. More production, better, better, better. Five, who will be at your meeting Make sure you only invite the coworkers that are part of the agenda. Create separate short meetings with other employees that aren't part of the agenda, and you will save a lot of time for everyone involved. Okay, moving on. Six, make time limits for each agenda item. This is a good idea. So you set a time limit for each agenda item, and you don't exceed that time limit. So if you spend too much time on one item, you will lose time for other items that, that might even be more important. Number seven, stand up. <laughs> it's funny, but it's true. So during a meeting, usually everyone is seated by the table, right? They, they're they're uh, sitting there and they're relaxed. This may cause the meeting to be longer than it actually has to be. Um, if you and your coworkers are standing during the entire meeting, the chances are pretty good that the meeting won't take as long. The formula is really simple. Discomfort promotes efficiency. The final point here, number eight, is basically this, have goals. Meetings can be quite cumbersome because you lose track of what the original idea of the meeting was all about by drifting into topics that are other than your agenda. So you need to make sure that all agenda items are going to be discussed. Each agenda item should be concluded with a concrete goal, such as a decision, an instruction, or a plan. Thus, your meeting is better structured and more likely to succeed regarding the overall goal. Your meeting will have the most efficient outcome. And that's what we're talking about today, efficiency in meetings. Till next time, 